The head coach of the women's basketball team at Merrimack is Monique, Monique LeBlanc, and she joins us here in the first intermission. And uh, well, first of all, pretty good action here. I know the students back, so uh, yeah. you're looking for, forward to, uh, to some support in that regard. You guys have a home game coming up this weekend, but, but also here for the hockey game. Uh, nice to be back in session, I guess. It is great to be back, and I'll tell you what, I'm sure our student body is very excited to have their first day back at school, also be uh, a home game with Boston College, and it's definitely not letting fans down so far. It's a great game here. All right, so your club has a game tomorrow. You play AIC on the road, but uh, it's been a pretty exciting season so far. Uh, you guys are yep. right in the thick of things, right in the mix there. Yep. Um, you know, five and five in the league, but it's really a battle. It seems like uh, the parity is there in the league this year, and and uh, and you guys, like I said, I think you're in third place right now, or third or fourth, and, and but it's it's pretty close there between not not too many points, as it were, separating yep. like third and sixth. You're absolutely right, and. Uh, you know, I have so much respect for all the other coaches and players in the conference, and it's truly a testament to the strength of the Northeast 10 because every night is really a dogfight, as they say, and um, there's there's definitely no gimme games, and it's one of those things where you feel like you can beat anybody in the conference, and you feel like anybody could beat you too. You, you know, you gotta show up every night and bring your best, and so like you said, we're right in the mix with a bunch of other teams, and, and honestly, I try not to look too much at that because I know every game, it, it makes such a big difference, win or lose. And, um, you know, you can really get caught up in that. And so we're really just trying to focus on one game at, at a time. And our next game is, is our biggest game of the year. Well, you guys have been building over the last few years. And, and this year, you know, you returned a lot of players in addition to, to having some, some uh, good players come in. But right. uh, Chloe Rothman's been one of the leaders for your club, I know. Tell us about her and what she brings. Yeah, Chloe's an excellent player. She is... You know, I, I love to see players like her develop each year and improve each year because she's the type of kid that puts in so much work in the off season and she she truly uh, lives basketball and trains so hard. So for her to get that payoff every season and improve every season, you know, this year I think one of the things that she's doing great is um, managing, you know, her turnovers. As a ball handler, I'm asking her to, to make decisions and to make good decisions. And she's gotten better each year in terms of uh, her assist to turnover ratio. And she's uh, two to one right now and averages about five assists for us a game. So for the amount of time that we're asking her to handle the ball, she's really doing a great job of making good decisions for our team with it. And, you know, she's a team leader. She sets the tone every day at practice. And she's also come along defensively, which not a, a lot of people might pick up on because, you know, certainly her scoring has gone up in her other offensive statistics. But defensively, she's, she's really come leaps and bounds for us. And she got a chance to play some international basketball last summer too, right? She how did, did that opportunity develop and how did it go? Yeah, she had a blast out there. And, and as you know, um, Team USA brought home the gold at the Maccabi Games. And uh, she loved playing against, uh, you know, such top competition both on her own team, on Team USA, and, and against the other uh, good teams around the world. And she said it was a super physical game out there. And she, she liked that. You know, I think that plays well into her type of game. And uh, she just said the, the experience is unforgettable. And they really did a nice job of making sure that the, the teams had a chance to go sightseeing and do uh, tours and things like that. So she really got the full experience while she was there. Well, one of the things that jumped out at me, I got to check <laughs> check the uh, the numbers here, but uh, you guys, let's see. Well, uh, I mean, one of the hallmarks, it seems, of your club, you mentioned defense and, and steals. That was one of the things that jumps out, is that, that you guys are among the le league leaders right now in steals per game. Uh, well, how do you challenge the club in terms of what you want them to do defensively and, and steals, and how does that play into it? Well, you know, there's so many good players in our conference and, and good teams and really solid teams that run their stuff well. So uh, for us, we just want to take a little bit more of an aggressive approach and, and not sit back. You know, honestly, this league is so good with skill players. And so uh, I think that if we're not aggressive, we're going to give up, you know, easy looks. There's kids that can knock down shots and things. So we just try to make teams a little bit uncomfortable. We also want to be calculated and, and not be too risky and not fly around. But uh, one of our goals is to, to be a league leader um, in, in turnovers forced. You know, we don't necessarily need to get the steals from it. If we can just force turnovers, we're happy. But, you know, I, we are doing a good job with the steals, as you <laughs> said, so we'll take it. Well, looking at how things have grown now over the last few years since you've been here, uh, how do you feel about where things are at this point, not only this point in this season, but overall in the overall uh, development of the program? Well, I feel great about it. You know, a big thing is, um, you know, that, that we have such a great support system here at Merrimack. Uh, the athletic department is phenomenal. Uh, the administrators are, are so supportive, and 
and always forward thinking in terms of what we can do to make this a better experience for our student athletes. So that really helps and it's a really easy sell to our recruits um, just to look around and see what's been done around here and, and it really shows that the athletic department values uh, the student athlete experience. So, so that's been huge and that's been a, a big help in building the program up here. And uh, a lot of credit, to all credit to our players uh, who have really bought into the culture and now they live the culture and, and they demand it of one each other on a daily basis. So um, things are just headed in the right direction. And um, another thing I want to point out too is that our, our team just finished first semester with a, a team GPA of over 3.5. So, um, you know, I, that's pretty incredible to have a team that, that beat the Dean's list. And, uh, you know, so that was a big goal of theirs and, and it's a, still a goal in the second semester, but I'm really proud of what our team has done academically. I don't think we've been below a 3-4 um, you know, in the last five semesters, so really proud of them for that. So what's it like then when you have such a smart team? I mean, are they always out there questioning everything you say, or how does it go? <laughs> you know what, they're really great. Uh, they don't question too much, but they know that uh, it's an atmosphere where if you have a question, you should ask it. So um, so that's good. They're definitely cerebral, and they think, <laughs> think things through, and um, sometimes I wish they'd think even more, so I guess I'm <laughs> constantly challenging them. All right, before we let you go, we said you have the game tomorrow at AIC. You're back home on Saturday against right. Adelphi. Um, you know, heading towards that title, you guys made it to the semifinals last year, so you want to try to get that next step this year and maybe win a championship. What will it take? Yeah, you know what? Um, we certainly felt like we were one, one game away from, from being in that championship game, and I know that that's something that has fueled the fire and, and kept the team hungry all postseason and all into the season. But I think what it's going to take to get back there is uh, a continued focus on the next game in front of us. And um, no game is as big as our next game because it is such a tight race, and we just need to worry about that one game at a time and making sure that we're improving every day, not just game by game, but day by day in practice. And, and I believe we're doing that, and we've been doing that very solidly for a few weeks now. Uh, and the last thing I would say, Mike, is just a, a continued uh, mindset and focus on the defensive end of the floor uh, and the stretch of wins that we've been having. A big key has been that we've been holding our opponents to lower scoring than we were at the beginning of the year, and, and that gives us obviously a chance to, to win those games when we can uh, you know, play our opponents well and not let them go off too much. Well, good luck, and thanks for joining us, and uh, good luck with the weather tonight, too. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> it's only about a 15-minute ride home, so I should good. be good. Good, that's good to hear. Thanks again, and good luck. Yeah, thank you so much.